I invited friends over because I'm making my version of this fiesta food. Carnitas is a way to experience pork like no other. You can choose if you want to use pork butt or pork shoulder without the bone, but do not cut off the fat. Leave it in there because that is what's going to add flavor in the dish and it's going to help it brown. Look at the gorgeous meat. Four pounds of pork butt. You want big chunks? You hear that? I have one tablespoon of vegetable shortening in here. You can use lard, you can use oil. Some people add cups of lard in here, but you really don't need much because I left the fat on the pork. And I have it over high heat because I want it to brown. It already sounds like a party in here. And pork butt and pork shoulder are really inexpensive cuts of meat, but they do need for you to cook them for a while to just bring the best in them. And I'm going to make here a very simple, like braising liquid. I'm gonna grab white onion. I just need a half of it. It's going to go in my magical blender that purees anything that I throw in here. I'm adding six garlic cloves. A little bit of water. About one and a half cups. And then I'm going to add some of the spices. These are usual suspects in Mexican cooking. I have thyme and marjoram, but not many people know that we use them that much. We do. And these aromatics are just incredible with pork. So I have a teaspoon of thyme and a teaspoon of marjoram, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and a pinch of cumin, just a pinch. Oh wait, the cloves and the salt. I'm adding like five or six whole cloves and a full tablespoon of salt. You know how some dishes just have some inherent meaning? Carnitas really means get together and parties and music and friends. Look at the browning of the meat, it's just beautiful. Now, you don't wanna make the chunks of meat too small because the meat is gonna cook he here for a long time and it would dry up. And you don't wanna make it too big because it would take too long. Carnitas are a dish that really inspire loyalty. Each family has their own special take. It's like you make it the same way throughout your life and then you pass it on. So I'm adding that braising liquid in there. And this is how I hope that my kids will make it too. Now it's going to Simmer for a little bit. And the two ingredients that are my family's secret, secret ingredients, sweetened condensed milk. It brings out like a succulent side to pork that is really incredible. And the sugar in the sweetened condensed milk, it helps it caramelize. So I just added two tablespoons. Okay, I just wanna jump in there with that milk. Look at how it looks. It's fabulous, just like that. Give me a tortilla, where's the tortilla? Okay, I have to wait an hour. And then the other secret ingredient is orange. The orange brings like a spark into the dish. The citrusy notes are beautiful, yet very subtle at the same time. So you can see, I mean, the pork is going crazy in there already. The meat is liking what I'm doing, I can tell. I'm going to reduce the heat to low, medium low, and it's going to stay here for an hour, and when I open it, you won't believe what you're gonna see. Carnitas are ready. 
Guys, I have the carnitas. Who wants tacos? Are you ready? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Listen like that. Yeah. A great fiesta is loaded with good times, good friends, and great food. Mm. Especially when there is a full pot of carnitas. 